If you are moving to Arizona, whether it be Phoenix, Tucson, or the high country, there's things you need to know about the state, including the culture in Arizona. Welcome to my channel. I'm Amy Hazlett. I'm a realtor in Phoenix, Arizona, and on my channel, I talk about life in Phoenix and the Phoenix real estate market. So if that's of interest to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications so you get my weekly videos. Now, let's get started on this video. Why are there no basement homes in Arizona? All right, so maybe there are a few basement homes, but there are not many basement homes that are built in Phoenix, and it's because of a couple of reasons. Number one, here in Phoenix, we build homes on a concrete slab, even with the ground. We don't have a frost line, so we don't have to build below the frost line. Therefore, the incremental cost between the slab and the basement it's gonna cost a lot more than it might say in New York where I grew up. The second thing also has to do with the cost of building and that is something called caliche. Caliche is a hard clay-like soil and if you hit it when you're building a pool or a basement, the cost is gonna go up, up, up. So it becomes a lot less expensive to build a two-story in Phoenix with a loft than a basement but a basement would be so awesome in the summertime with the kids out of school and it's hot outside, it's just too much upfront cost, so you don't see a lot of them. Arizona is known as the Valentine State and that's because it became the 48th state in the union on February 14, 1912. Phoenix is currently the state capital, but the territorial capital moved to Phoenix in 1809 from this city which is pronounced Prescott, not Prescott. If you say Prescott, it's a dead giveaway that you are not from Arizona. What's a swamp cooler? The first building to get air conditioning in Phoenix was the Westward Ho Hotel in 1929. But heading into the 1930s, not many people could have air conditioning units because the cost and the sheer size. This led to the popularity of what's called evaporative cooling also known as swamp coolers here in Phoenix. By the early 1950s, nearly 90% of the homes in Phoenix had swamp coolers. On January 1 of 1960, Del Webb opened its first Sun City outside of Phoenix. The starting price of a home was $8,500 and air conditioning units were an option starting at $600. Here in Phoenix, we live in the desert, but it's not the desert that a lot of people think of. I know when I came out here in my mind, I was picturing sand dunes and something maybe out of Raiders of the Lost Ark. But in fact, our desert is quite colorful and the rest of the state is quite green. In fact, a quarter of the state is forested with 11.2 million acres of forest. And in Arizona, you can actually snow ski, and water ski in the same day. In fact, when I was in college, I can remember a day in the spring where we were driving up to the lake to go water skiing and we were passed by a car heading up to the mountains in Flagstaff to ski, presumably on the same day when there was still snow in the mountains. Arizona has more parks and national monuments than any other state in the US and it has more mountains than Switzerland and more golf courses than Scotland. Arizona historically is considered a conservative state and you might think of people like Barry Goldwater and John McCain. However, Arizona is the state that has had the most female governors with four and three were consecutive. So let's see if I can remember these. We had Rose Mofford, Jane Hall, Jan Brewer, and Janet Napolitano. And in Arizona, women were granted the right to vote eight years before national suffrage. Florida is known as the sunshine state, but Arizona outshines Florida. Phoenix and Tucson have 85% sunshine and even Flagstaff up in the north where they get snow gets 266 days of sunshine a year, which is more than many Florida cities. How do you pronounce that cactus? So that's pronounced saguaro. Did you know that it can take up to 100 years for a saguaro cactus to grow an arm? The saguaro cactus only grows in the Sonoran Desert, which you'll find in southwestern Arizona, southeastern California, and neighboring Mexico. 
If you cut down a saguaro cactus, you could go to jail for one year. Did you know that the state flag of Arizona is a depiction of our gorgeous Arizona sunsets? The name Arizona didn't come from arid zone. It's actually a Native American name, Arizonac, which means little spring. Did you know that Arizona has more boats per capita than any other state in the country? And in fact, Arizona once had its own Navy. They had two boats stationed along the Colorado River for the purpose of keeping California from encroaching to Arizona. Californians are welcome now, and if any of you are thinking of coming out to buy here, you know who to get in touch with. We don't spring forward or fall back here in Arizona. We skip that whole daylight savings time, which is kind of nice, but it can get confusing when you're scheduling conference calls and things like that with people in other states. In Phoenix, the predominant material for the exterior of the home is stucco, and we use concrete roof tiles on top of the home. You'll also find that the electrical panels are often on the outside of the home because with the nicer weather, cold and winters don't affect it. And by being on the outside, if there's an issue where the fire department has to come during a fire, it's easy for them to turn off the electrical to the home. Here's one thing that surprises a lot of new homeowners the first summer that they live in Phoenix, and that is that the water coming out of the tap is quite warm. So when it's 110 plus here in Phoenix, your water's getting quite warm and the newer homes, the plumbing comes up through the attic as opposed to in the foundation and your attic's getting warm as well. Don't expect to cool off too much. If you've been out in the heat and you want a cold shower, this community in the East Valley is pronounced Awatuki. This popular spot in the high country is actually pronounced a few different ways by people in Arizona. Mogion or Mogion Rim. And this town where my alma mater of ASU is located, it's not Temp or Tempe, it's Tempe. Now, if you've lived in Arizona for a long time, you probably are calling our desert August storms, monsoons, instead of haboobs. But either way, they're really not as bad as what you're seeing on TV. But don't drive through a flooded street because if you get stuck, you're gonna spend a lot of money. Here in Arizona, we have this thing called the stupid motorist law. And if somebody gets stuck in there, they're gonna be paying all the cost for the rescue to get them and their car out. And it is expensive. Another tip about your car is about your car's windshield. So when I lived up in Washington state, I covered the state of Washington, Northern Idaho. I'd go up to Alaska and I'd go down to Oregon. I never had a chipped windshield. When I moved back to Phoenix, I got three chipped windshields, which I had to replace twice and a third time just fix the chip all within like a year or two. So on our roads in Phoenix, we have a lot of little rocks and what happens is they kick up and they hit your windshield. So spend the extra money to get windshield coverage and don't make the mistake that I made. Texas is known for all of its cowboys, but we have a lot of cowboys here in Arizona as well. In fact, we have the oldest rodeo in Prescott, don't say Prescott, and the oldest continuous rodeo in Payson. And as far as the saying, everything is bigger in Texas, one thing is definitely big here in Arizona, and that's the size of our counties. We have 15 total counties in Arizona, and Coconino is the largest one at almost 17,700 square miles. That's bigger than like the five smallest states in the United States, including number five, New Jersey, which comes in somewhere around 7,600 square miles. So you could fit like two New Jersey's within the county of Coconino and still have a little bit of room left over. So Arizona is also known for great Mexican food. In fact, the chimichanga is said to have been invented in Arizona, but there's a question of whether it was in Tucson or Phoenix, depending on who you talk to. But one thing that might surprise you is that Phoenix is also known as one of the great pizza cities now. And I did a video on that. So if you want to know about good pizza in Phoenix, check that out. So those are some interesting facts about Phoenix and Arizona and some tips if you're going to be moving to the Phoenix area. So now I want to know what are some of your tips for moving to Arizona? Did I leave anything out? Put those in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. 
Bye-bye.